Hi, we're Ant and Deck, authors and narrators of our book, Once Upon a Time. It's brilliant. This is Audible 8. Right, I've got questions for you, and you've got questions for me. I sure have. Brace yourself. I'm going to go first. Go on then. Hey, Declan. Yes. Doesn't say that, I just wanted to say that. What's something that cheers you up no matter what? It used to be watching Newcastle United. Mm, not, not so, so much, much now. nowadays. That's been replaced by my daughter. Oh. If I'm in a bad mood or if I'm a bit grumpy or if things are getting on top of me and she just flashes a cheeky little grin, that's that, it. That's makes, it. Makes me smile no matter what. Show us your favourite emoji with just your face. What can I do with another part of my body? The emoji. I'm trying to work out what emoji. The uh, ob aubergine. <laughs> I always do that one, don't I? Oh, oh yeah, thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's that way, actually. There you go. Yeah. What were you most scared of writing in the book? What were you most scared of writing in the book? What were you most scared of writing in the book? What were you most scared of writing in the book? Well, I don't know if I was scared, but the most difficult chapters were probably around our music career. Why? Well, because I think it's... it's Memory loss. There's a bit of that. <laughs> and um, that was probably one of the less enjoyable times of our yeah. career. So it's kind of going over old old times that weren't, you weren't really PTSD. Good. Yeah, we weren't having great times. What were you most excited to include in the book? Writing about the time we spent with Prince Charles. Because I think it's a great insight, because when else are you going to know about it? Are you talking about the Royal Sleepover? Yeah, we had a Royal Sleepover at Prince Charles' house. house. I mean, I'll house. tell you a little bit about it now. So basically, we followed Prince Charles around for nine months um, of his life. It was a, for a TV programme, not just weirdly. Yeah, we're not stalkers. It wasn't like we were down one end of the corridor and he was in a different wing. All bedrooms were here and his bedroom was there, like literally across the corridor. And there's a moment which I talk about where I come out of my room in a robe and who was in the corridor? Prince Charles. More of that in the book. <laughs> who would you like to narrate your life? Hmm? Ah, uh, well, uh -huh. there's only one person I think would do this justice. He has. Who would be qualified enough to do it. With a good voice? With a great voice. Good good accent? Great accent. Yes. Sir Ian McKellen. What? Yeah, it'd be just just like like Velvet and could perform it. It would be wonderful. What was your favourite thing about narrating the audiobook? Apart from being reunited with me. It was actually quite fun to do. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was good fun. It was good. And, and it's, you get a real sense of the journey when you kind of, when you have to read it out loud. We spend so long kind of writing and putting it together. You get a sense, you got a real sense of what the book is. It's good, isn't it? It's a good book. You know what's weird about doing the, the audio book is when you read a bit and you go, does this bit make sense? Yeah. And you go, oh, I would have written this differently. Yeah, I can't change it now. I it's can't printed. change it now. It's got to print. Yeah. You've been an actor. You've been a singer. You're a presenter. Comedian. Well. In brackets. Is there anything you can't do? Nothing so, that springs to mind, no. Certain rides, theme parks, can you get on all of them? You know, you got to pass that height thing? Most of them. Most of them, yeah. And get on the ones you want to go on. Mm. You know, teacups and stuff. Yeah. This, and this is a good one. Would you rather be able to talk to animals or read people's minds? Talk to animals. Now I've always wanted to talk to that. That seems like a very knee jerk. It's not. Jerk. It's not knee jerk. I've thought about this a lot. I mean, I'd look mad, but I'd, I'd have the most wonderful time. It'd be with the most beautiful existence. Me talking away to horses and birds and ducks in the pond, and then the dogs can talk back to me. Well, you talk to animals, and maybe I could read minds, and then let's let's put both skills together. Yeah. Okay. And we can read the animals' minds. We don't have to talk to them. <laughs> We've been Ant and Deck. Thanks for joining us. You can hear our audiobook uh, Once Upon a Time on Audible. Enjoy it.